This is Professor Todd Elliott, and today we are going to look at the uh, basics of setting up the uh, analog oscilloscope. So the major oscilloscope controls um, are basically subdivided into two sections, the horizontal and the vertical. The horizontal control uh, determines the uh, XY settings of the uh, oscilloscope. We have the trigger, the vertical controls, the volts per division, the vertical settings. And uh, we'll be looking a little bit uh, further in the presentation of details of how to set those up. Okay, so the focus and intensity controls, they are uh, used um, just simply to uh, set the uh, sharpness and the, uh, of, the dis of the trace, that's the focus, and the intensity is simply the brightness. So you don't want to set it too bright and leave it that way over a period of time because you can damage the uh, coating on the inside of the screen. So just set it to a moderate setting, so not too uh, dim, but uh, not excessively bright either. The um, oscilloscope uh, inputs, um, they come in through a pair of oscilloscope leads. Now the one shown there is different than the one you have in your kit. The one in your kit is, is much, much better quality, um, but they basically do the same thing. So each channel, this is a two-channel uh, scope, will have a set of a oscilloscope lead, which will bring the signal into the oscilloscope uh, for processing. Here's a calibration signal. Um, varies a little bit from scope to scope. Generally, it's a uh, standard frequency of 1 kilohertz as a square wave, uh, usually 0.5 volts uh, amplitude. And it's uh, basically just used to give a, a general quick check. Hey, am I, am I working? Can I display a signal? And there's usually a connection right on the front panel simply connect your uh, scope lead signal input to that and uh, check to see if it's working. So we have the vertical control. The vertical, uh, as you can see from the display there, sets the uh, volts per division and the actual settings will vary on the oscilloscope. Um, for example, you might set it to one volt per division and all that means is one vertical square on the screen represents a change in voltage of uh, one volt. Uh, yeah, pretty simple, eh? There's a calibration knob in the center. Make sure it's turned all the way clockwise. Um, otherwise, the uh, display is uncalibrated and your readings will be, it would be incorrect. Similarly, we have the uh, horizontal input, sometimes called or frequently called the, uh, the time base. And uh, it's set um, to determine how many like seconds, milliseconds, microseconds, what have you, per division. So if you set it to uh, 10 microseconds per division, that means every uh, square going horizontally, left to right, represents a change in time of uh, 10 microseconds. And we can use this to measure time delay and frequency and period. So the uh, trigger inputs, um, these are used to determine the uh, proper triggering for, these, for the scope. Um, there's three main uh, settings, the trigger in, the uh, level, the source, and the mode. You can see there on the screen a uh, short description of each of those. Uh, it's not necessary for you to match to them right now, just to kind of know what they basically are, and you get them as you uh, go on the rest through the uh, semester. The internal trigger mode, um, you can set it to display the trace of the signal on channel 1 only, or channel 2, or, or both. And you can see the, uh, the various settings there in the uh, pop-up uh, dialog box. Uh, internal triggering, um, typically what we're going to use, if you're triggering off the uh, 60 hertz line frequency, you would use external. But typically we're going to be on internal triggering um, for, our, for our setup. Uh, input coupling, uh, basically we have AC, DC, and ground. Um, ground is used to set up the reference point on the trace. Um, AC um, is typically used when you have pure AC signals, but most of the time, to be safe, you use DC. Uh, the AC-DC settings, um, they do not mean the same thing as on your digital meter, so I know it's a little bit confusing, but generally you're going to want to be on, on DC when taking measurements. 
Okay, for the next few slides, we'll look at just the initial setup. So we're you know, turning on the unit, and what do we do from there to get going? Okay, for uh, channel one, okay, um, we turn on the scope. We establish the fo focus and the intensities. Okay, just start roughly at the mid position and uh, set the coupling to ground, set the trigger and channel one to internal, and just manipulate the controls to uh, get the waveform in the center of, of, the, sc of the screen. In this next section, we will look at taking basic uh, oscilloscope measurements. Okay, so to set up to measure voltage, we need to set up the uh, volts per division. So in this example, we're setting the uh, vertical selector uh, dial to two volts per division, and uh, that's just a good good place good place to start to um, for our initial setup. The uh, position knob, the small one on the right, simply used to move the trays uh, vertically up and down on the screen. So to measure voltage, um, if we have our control set to 2 volts per division, as you can see there, that means that every uh, major square represents a change in volts of, uh, of 2. If we set it to 5 volts per division, then every major division would have a value of 5 volts. That's pretty, pretty straightforward. Each major division is subdivided into five minor divisions. So two divided by five give us 0.24 volts per, divi per minor division. So here we see uh, two voltages on the, on the screen. We have the, uh, three, actually. We have the red line at two volts per division gives us a voltage of 4.4 volts. The blue, blue line as uh, 3.6 volts and the yellow line is minus 1.6. Now the blue line is actually the only signal from the scope. I just penciled the other two in just to give you uh, two other examples. Okay, here we're measuring AC voltage and the control is set to 2 volts per division. That means uh, between the 0 and uh, point A it represents a change of positive 4 volts. So two divisions times two volts per division is four volts. Likewise, from the zero reference point to uh, point B represents a change in my voltage of minus four volts. Okay, here we have still AC, but it's a uh, square wave. Again, we've set our setting, changed our setting to one volts per division. That means between points A and B, it's 4.2 volts. Between 0, the reference, and point A, it's 2.1. And from 0 to point B, it's minus 2.1. So the A and B points, you won't see those on the screen. I've just penciled them in just to give us some measurement points. Here we have a triangle or, or a sawtooth wave. Change the vertical setting to 0.5 volts per division. So you can see that between A and B, we have 2 volts. Between the zero point and A, it's positive one volt, and zero point in the B, it's minus one volt. So between A and B, I see one, two, three, four squares, or something called divisions, times half volt per division gives us a change of two volts. For the horizontal, the frequency, we've set our selector switch to 50 uh, microseconds per division, uh, just as a, as a good starting point. Make sure the calibration knob is fully clockwise. And if you look closely there, you'll see an, an arrow showing cal clockwise. Basically, that means if it's not fully clockwise, please be gentle with the control. It's fairly fragile. Then the, um, the re numbers on the display uh, will not be uh, correct. So going horizontally, if we have 10, uh, 50 microseconds uh, per division, and that's assumed to be major divisions, uh, that means we have 10 microseconds for each minor division. So notice that going vertically or horizontally, each major division or square is subdivided into uh, five divisions. So it allows us to take uh, much more uh, precise and uh, finer measurements. Okay, so for this example, we have a sine wave on the screen. 
and we're taking our uh, time base, so at uh, two microseconds per division for a control between points A and B, which represents one complete cycle, is 8.3 divisions. So 8.3 divisions times the two microseconds per division gives us a time or period of 16.6 microseconds between points A and B. Uh, divide that into one, that will calculate the frequency. So for some more sample measurements, we have our time base set to 50 microseconds per division. That means for this particular waveform, our period is 175 microseconds, which means our frequency is 5.71 kilohertz, and the uh, formulas for the calculations are displayed there for you.